Hi, Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. We're going to deal with when God puts you on the shelf and you have to sit there and go through the curing process. I was watching on YouTube these people trying different types of mold. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, casting casting uh, compounds. And they pour the epoxy into these molds and then they let it sit. And they pull out a, a beautiful little form of whatever the mold represented. Now, what I want to say to you is I watched a guy pour uh, epoxy over uh, a table. And the table was beautiful. And then I saw him pour it over the countertop. Countertop was beautiful. But here's the part that was surprising. The woman was sharing how strong the epoxy was when it was fully cured fully cured oh you guys worry about my little finger movements i'm getting self-conscious now anyway so they pour it and it's cured over a source of time the process or as god would call it over the fullness of time then she takes a frying pan fries some eggs and bacon in it picks the frying pan straight from the gas flames and puts it on the top of the counter on top of the counter right there and lets it sit there and then picks it up shines the bright light on it and lets us see there are no burn marks there are no scorchings there are no dimples no wrinkles no scratches no marring of any kind she wipes it and the surface is nice and shiny and perfectly clear. Now, when you are filled with the Holy Spirit and God takes you through trials, many times in life you have to go through the curing process. Between the time the trial started and between the time the trial ends comes to a final close that interim period refer to it in your mind as the curing process you can't do anything you're clueless it's out of your hands and all you can do is let it play out and sit there and watch it while it's doing so you have no power you have no say. You're sitting there. Going through. Big time. And you know what happens during the curing process of epoxy? It starts to get hot. It warms up. The temperature rises. It's not going to cook. But it is curing. You're not going to burn. But you are curing. And then when everything is said and done and God has allowed the fullness of time, what happens to you? The same thing that happens to that epoxy. You're rock solid. Solid as a rock. You are solid, baby. You are, you are strong. You are immovable. You are always abounding in the work of the Lord. And you have no scratches. Nobody can mar and mangle your surface. Because you have been created to handle anything. When the Bible says you will go through the water and not be drowned. You'll go through the fire and not be burned. He means it. You will come out on the other end, glistening, shining, glossy, beautiful, and strong. God bless you as you trust God to strengthen you during the curing process. <laughs>